This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 276, for Wednesday, June 20th. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Just hit me. Did you hear? <laughs> Spider-Man made a winter jacket out of Greek bread. A winter jacket out of Greek bread? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a Peter Parker. <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> you, mean, you screwed it up. I screwed, it's a Peter Parker. Anyway, thanks for joining us. And you thought that was really it's, it's funny. funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's funnier that I screwed it up, actually. But anyway. Oh. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there and to the mothers who do double duty as fathers. We hope you all had a really uh, good Father's Day. What did you do? Um, a lot of nothing. We drove around. We got to drive Brian's favorite little car. Um, and drove up, had some coffee. Went to Barnes and Noble, chilled out. Then we went in to an antique mall, yep. and then uh, came went to the added grocery to the, store. Added to the razor collection, uh, accumulation. Uh, did, 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 yeah, the you called it a collection. It's official. It's a collection. How many do you have now? I don't know. Ten. <clears throat> do you have more razors than watches? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Can I, I count? I'm, I'm pretty sure on that one. <laughs> <coughs> that one I'm sure of. Okay. So anyway. Not yet. <coughs> um, so it was relaxing and then... Uh, cooked out, grilled cooked out. Cooked out. Yep. That was good. New grocery store in town. So. Yeah. It's huge. It's good. We've never been to a Meijer before. I've never been. So it was um, big. Very big. So it was good. Um, let's jump into the new big, stuff. The big news. Big news. So uh, some of you may recall that a couple years ago we released our terabyte, our Retro 51 terabyte. Um, circuit, awesome pen. circuit board, motherboard, whatever you want to call it. Um, partly because Brian used to be in IT and everybody knows somebody in IT or engineering or something like that, even architecture almost, that um, is really uh, difficult when it comes to gift giving. And so we designed this one. Retro did a fantastic job. And it is now sold out. Limited edition. Limited one, edition, 500 pieces. 500 pieces. Yep. Um, we are now announcing. Well, actually, we, we tried to see if we could get more because we sold out. And they said no. They said no because it was numbered. Um, so what we did is we came up with the Terabyte 2.0. Black, stealth. Um, this is killer. This is really neat, and it's got a little... Covering up all the cool stuff. I'm covering up all the cool stuff. It's got a cool thing on the disc, um, top disc. It's black. with. It's got this matte trim. I like it. It's nice. Yeah. So if you didn't get the first one, this one is, is pretty cool. So or if you got the first one, you, got the you, first need, one, the you need the second one. one. Yeah, so. they did such a good <clears throat> job. Um, yeah, just just so, real pleased with that, and it comes in a cool box as usual. Um, so they're just so talented and so creative. Um, exactly what we wanted right out of the box. It was just um, a, a great experience to work with them yet again. So, um, so anyway, Terabyte uh, 2.0 video this morning uh, we launched it. So um, available for pre-sales. It will be here next week. So, yes, super um, excited. It is not limited, but we're probably only going to do one run of it and then and then move on to something else. So, um, anyway, uh, next up, uh, last week came out the uh, the launch of the Sailor Ocean. Uh, this is the third in the series. That's a pretty color. Um, the sky was the first one a few years ago, then followed Earth. by the Earth, and now Let me play with the that. ocean, uh, which is kind of a teal, teal green. Kind of a Almost a dusty teal. It's really pretty. Let me pull my glasses. It's on. like uh, it's really pretty, pretty much like the Earth, with a little bit of translucency on the section and the top. Uh, actually, if you put a if you put a light through it, you can see see right. You're not even paying attention to me. No, I'm trying to put the light <laughs> through it. I'm use sort your, of you can use your iPhone, it, but I'm not allowed to bring my iPhone in here anymore. No, after, it's it's really a pretty debacle. color. I'm very um, excited. It's a nice color. Yeah, your um, phone went off, didn't it? How rude. Well, I know. I thought I had it on silent. I know. Anyway. So anyway, Ocean is in, uh, full size, slim. Uh, King of Pen is available should you desire something that large. But uh, uh, that's going to be around for a while. It is not necessarily limited, 
but it is a special edition. Uh, and actually, they do not sell these in Japan, so it's the rest of the world. So. But they are coming in in batches, so yep. it's not like they got in 10,000 mm -hmm. and it's going to be a constant flow. Yep. So uh, then we were going to talk <clears throat> about a couple things that um, have been around, but people may not be as familiar with. Man, this is a, this is a killer pen. This is a killer pen. I knew this was a mistake. And 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 you don't we had one. we had a, I don't have one. We had a couple of these, and and last week uh, one of our one of our good friends and customers uh, came back in from out of town and he bought the other one, but he left the one that I wanted. Darn the Pilot Ivan. Custom Arushi. Um, this one here has got a broad nib. This is a big big pen. Um, number thirty nib. It's got this beautiful two tone nib. I mean, look at the cap. The cap is the size of my finger. If I compare this to a 149. It's giant. That's a big ass pen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's pretty good size. That's very good size. Um, it make it makes the 149 look small. And the 149 generally That's considered to be to do, yeah. you know, generally considered to be the, the largest standard for the oversize. The nibs, you know. Nib is it, it pretty comparable, maybe a hair bigger, but um, but Arushi lacquer. I mean, what is not to like about Arushi lacquer? I just love Arushi. It's, it's that hardness, the feel, the smoothness of the uh, of, of the lacquer. Um, and great pen. Pilot does such a great job. Yep. Um, it's it's just beautiful. This is way too big for me. I could beat somebody with this. You probably could. I you probably, probably could. could. It yeah. would be a very expensive nightstick. Yes. Uh, Pilot custom Arushi anyway. Yep. Uh, next up on the uh, the block, uh, these are really great. I love these uh, platinum celluloid thirty seven seventy six. Um, come in a bunch of different colors. I uh, only got a couple of them here, but these remind me. Uh, these are just old school colors, really. They remind me of the Sailor Magellans. The Sailor Magellans had similar colors. We've got a jade. We've got a tortoise. Uh, the koi, the koi. I have a koi, which I love, is a really great pattern. There's, there's a lapis. There's a, yeah, an ocean blue, um, or lapis, I forget. Uh, lapis. Lapis. Um, and uh, there's a calico, which is also called stone, which is uh, a nice color. Um, I love my, uh, what do I have? You know, color, I have a lilas. Color match section. Um, yeah, it's standard, just gorgeous. Standard 3776 14 karat nib. Uh, good looking pen, really good looking pen. Doesn't look like anything else on the market. No, There's nothing no. else like it. Platinum does an excellent job. Um, same size as thirty seven seventy six. Yep, yep. Same size. Okay. Same size. Yep. So if you have a mm -hmm. blue or a black or a the burgundy. Yep. Um, yeah, just really pretty. Very interesting material. Yeah, it's a it's a good looking pen. Um, what I'm else? a big big fan of that. Uh, changing gears. Uh, Conklin Durographs. A couple of really, really hot ones. The purple, I think this is the, maybe the best, one of the best ones that come out recently, a Purple Nights. Well, now, the Conklin Durographs came out in a couple colors a while back. Mm -hmm. And then more recently, they added what they called the Night Series. The Red Night, the Orange Night, the Purple, purple Night. Night yeah. um, and so if maybe you got a Durograph a while back and you haven't really paid much attention to them, these are cool. The Orange Night almost looks like, looks like a Dolce Vita. A Dolce Vita. Yeah, yeah. Um, the material is gorgeous. I like the size. Yeah. The purple size. They do post, they post a little long, but I think the barrel length is, is sufficient for, for people who don't, don't post. Um, See, I'm a poster though. Well, I mean, but look how far it comes back. It's a good size, absolutely. You yeah. don't have to post it. Um, but just a nice looking pen, a little bit thinner, which I like. Um, certainly not what I would call thin. Um, but yeah, just, just a nice pen, um, just kind of a reminder. And they come in a number of different nib options. Yeah, right now, uh, fine, medium, 1.1 stub, extra fine and broad are coming soon. Uh, steel nibs, number six size. Uh, so you can swap out for your favorite Anderson pens, uh, extra fine, Yovo, or uh, you know 1.5 stub, or, or whatever you want. Uh, they swap out easily. The friction fit are well, actually they're threaded. They're threaded units, but you can pull them out to replace with uh, Yovo nib units if you want. Um, cartridge converters. They have a threaded uh, converter, which is awesome. Which I love. Yeah, yeah, I love it's great. Threaded converters. You know, on a pen this inexpensive, that's a really, really kind of a cool feature. Um, international, of course, so you can fit all your favorite cartridges. So, cool. Conklin Durograph, the Knights, Purple Knights, are actually one of my favorites. That's a great, great. Wouldn't that look great if this whole pen was purple? 
Sure. That would be awesome. That would be cool. That would be awesome. All right. I would do that. Heartbeat. Uh, and uh, notice on some discontinued stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's that, you look like you're afraid. No. <laughs> Retro 51 Slims. Um, I know. This makes me sad. I the uh, the three colors, the Moonstone, the uh, Lavender, and the Aquamarine, uh, as well as uh, another pen that we don't have here, the Legal Pencil. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. such an awesome pencil. Um, so, I love the slim size. I'm really kind of disappointed that they're discontinuing them. Uh, and um, these are these are actually, these fit the Parker-style ballpoint refill only. Yes. Uh, they don't... Uh, the the actual uh, Schmidt uh, rollerball refill doesn't doesn't fit in there, but, uh, but great size, um, pretty colors. Nice colors, yeah. I think I have the old Electron. The kind of a matte matte finish, like on a brushed the, brush yeah. finish. On really, the clip. really pretty. Um, um, so if you've been thinking about getting one, grab it now because they are <laughs> sold out in Texas yep. at Retro, and so whatever. We have is what we have. Yeah, we've only got only got a few left. So that and the legal pencil, those are those are all discontinued. Um, That's so cool. You know, someone someone last week asked why we talk about ballpoints, and asked if we actually sell a lot of ballpoints. And I just mm. want to just want to say yes, we do sell a lot of ballpoints. And that's what we do, do talk about them. So, you know, um, and Retro Fifty One um, works really well as a gateway drug. <laughs> okay. Well, it does. You know, somebody wants um, a nicer pen, but they're maybe a little nervous about jumping right into a fountain pen. So a nicer ballpoint or rollerball is a step in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. And Retro, uh, along with a number of other brands, uh, make really nice ballpoints and rollerballs. Yep. Yep. So, so. It's, it's a way to ease somebody into the fountain pen collecting. All right, we got a question of the week. We do. Let's hop on it. What do we got? All right. Are you reading it or am I reading it? I should, I should read it to you this week. All right. Read to me. I hate being read to. How many colors are available in the Pilot Vanishing Point? <laughs> that is not the question. <laughs> a lot. That is not the question. We have to get David here on, the, on the line. <laughs> Phone a friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Uh, question of the week actually is... How do you choose a new notebook? Uh, is it paper? Is it binding? Is it designed? Oh. Is it the brand? Is it some other reason? And the reason I'm asking this is because you have more notebooks than I do. What's the one thing I have more of? Notebooks. Yeah. Um, so this is part of notebook club, I'm thinking. Um, how do I choose a new notebook? Well, you may know that I have a problem with new notebooks. I like them a lot but I don't use them a lot. So uh, a new one, cover. Yep, yep. If the cover mm -hmm. talks to me. Uh, in fact, I was downstairs in the store on Saturday closing up, and I walked past the paper blanks display, and I was straightening them, and I pulled a couple. I put them back, but yep. they're just so pretty. So part of it uh, absolutely is aesthetics. Um, another part of it is the paper. I don't like blank journals. So you like lined? It graph? has to be lined. I'm not a big fan of the graph. Okay. It's a little too busy for me. I, I completely understand why some people like it to keep your writing straight or if you're doing notes, everything lines up. Um, but for me, I like it lined. Just, plain, just a regular line. Just lined. regular lined okay. because if it's blank, I'm, um, I'm a roller coaster when I write. Um, paper is a consideration. Yeah, but everything we have is fountain pen friendly. Everything so that we it's have, yes. It's really almost not an issue. Although sometimes we do go to other places and there are covers that talk to me, okay. but I don't usually buy them. Okay. Um, binding a little bit. I, do you, I'm, do you really? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of spiral bound. Okay, well, okay, I can see that. Yeah. I like a, a slightly cleaner look, which then means I'm definitely not going to use it because it looks fancier. Do you like a staple bound or? Staple bound or a, a sewn. Okay. Um, it's real fancy. I know. They're just so pretty on the shelf. <laughs> All right. Do you care uh, about brands? Uh, not really. Not really. Not okay. really. It has to be decent paper, and it has to be pretty, mm -hmm. and it has to be lined. Mm -hmm. um, size is for me a big a big factor. You, you like the A4. I like the bigger the bigger the better. Um, you like small pocket size. 
That's primarily what I use, but I do have some A5s. I like... Um, and an occasional A4 I have. I like full size. Usually it, what I do is I take the rejects. So like we had like one last, like years back, we had one last white lines blank. Mm -hmm. I think it was a, it's a top uh, glue bound um, notepad. I still have the stupid thing, mm -hmm. um, but I took it because somebody wrote on it and you know, yeah. so that's how I get mine. Okay, well, what about you? Do you have a preference? Do you, do you like spiral bound? Not really. Okay. No, that's about the only thing I don't like. I, otherwise, I don't care. I like that you can flip them around. Yeah, 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 it's nice. But, but you know, they, always, they always sit up a little bit yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah. Or they don't, um, when you put it into your, your messenger bag or your tote, sometimes the, if the binding is wider than the notebook, then it sticks out. Well, and you run the risk of, of squishing the, the, the spiral, and then if you do, then it's yep. difficult to, to flip things over. So that's, that's maybe the one thing I don't, don't like. I don't really care. I prefer if it's, if it's lined, I guess. If it's not, I don't really care. I'm just write, I usually just write lists. I don't journal. I don't do anything like that. I tried journaling. It just didn't work. Um, so I, I, like, I like covers. Um, you know, I like the Mont Blanc. I like how the, the cover feels and how it flexes. I have three. Um, I actually braggart. used one. No, well, I took them before we sold them. But, um, but uh, I, in other words, I don't really care. I don't have a brand preference. Uh, you know, design, yes. Binding, I don't really care about other than if it's not spiral bond. So, anyway. Okay, there you go. All right. Uh, in other news. But, uh, but maybe we should ask the audience, how do you choose your next notebook? It's part of Notebook Club. We won't tell anybody. All right. Um, other news this past weekend. Welcome home. Uh, thank you. In <laughs> Chicago, uh, big sailor event with uh, Scott Hammer. And uh, good turnout. Uh, Friday was very busy. Uh, and Saturday, Saturday was interesting because Saturday was, there were fewer people through the door, but it was actually busier. There was a lot of people coming. A couple of people actually came back from Friday. Um, we had a couple people bringing in their own personal sailors to, for show and tell. Which I is had always really cool to see what what other people collect or things that are maybe domestic only or yep. that they discontinued ten years ago. I wish I had been there. Yeah, and you know, it was uh, I had I had some of my sailors there, so we were showing those off to to, to folks, um, and we had a good selection. Scott brought a good selection. I brought like literally everything that we had. Um, you know, I had somebody come into the store on Saturday, um, and he walked in the door straight over to the sailor, um, the two towers, and said, oh, you're out. And I said, yeah, Brian took him down to Chicago. He's like, okay, so no temptation for me today. Good. I think we had one pen in the store. One pen in the yeah. store. Um, but uh, I had all those. We, had, we just had a, a, just a bunch of them, and uh, it was a good time. So... Uh, we kept busy and um, kept the staff busy. Whip them into shape. Yeah, everything was you know everything looked great. We uh, we added some some posters to the store, so I know, some smart I can't work. Wait it looks to see them. it looks great. It really does. So the store's really shaping up. Um, we'll talk more about this weekend. I guess we're we're jumping around here. Uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. Yep. St. Louis Pen Show. You know, I'm excited. It's a brand new show. This will be the first year. What's it? The inaugural? The inaugural, yeah. Um, and Anne and Dave Morgan have been planning this thing for over a year. They have gone to almost every single show. Um, they have talked to dozens of retailers. And um, Anne has done event planning in the, uh, in the past, and it shows because she could teach a class on how to organize a pen show. She had, from day one, the layout of the ballroom, table layout, you could pick your own tables um, up until they got, you know, full. And then, um, you know, she was asking about, would you rather have breakfast or lunch, lunch or a pizza party, you know, coffee or cookies or whatever. Um, tablecloths versus yep. whatever. Yeah, it she's was doing a good great. job. So it, it's in, and it's it's reasonably close. So I'm excited about that. Yes. New city, new group of people who may not necessarily be able to. Get, I mean, their closest show is Chicago. Right. Essentially. Um, um, tons of events for attendees. A lot of different seminars. Um, in fact, I keep seeing new things up okay. on the site. So there's an auction too, apparently. Yes. Yes. Steve Mandel is calling the auction. Okay. There are like okay. 69 or 70 items. You know, and that's a great number. Yes. It's really a good number for an auction because it's not, you know, 
I, it's like I, an hour and a half. I love I love what I affectionately call the the Terry auctions in Raleigh and uh, Ohio, uh, but they're like 120 lots. So by the time you get out, it's midnight. You know, it's darn near close midnight by the time you, you get out. So 69, 70 lots is and perfect. So what's the problem with that? It's just too late to play with your new winnings. It's it's late. It's a long day, it's and it's always it's usually always on Saturday, and pants. you're up early, and it's just you know, yep. you know, it's six it's six a.m. to midnight is what yep. that day ends up being. So. Uh, but this is a good good number, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So it'll St. Louis coming up. Exciting to see what's in the auction. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be nice to see the actual hotel. I mean, we've seen pictures, but we've never been there. But um, looks nice. Like I said, they've done an amazing, amazing job with organization. There will be um, an ink testing station. Uh, we sent a bunch of ink for that, so um, should be really good. So stay tuned. Uh, uh, coming Two up weeks. in a couple weeks. Yep. It's um, actually the weekend of your birthday. Shh. No, 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 don't, yeah, no, no, so don't, don't, not, anyway, moving right along. Anybody who's there, bring um, them a beer. Next week, next week, uh, actually I, this week. Yeah, this week. Not, actually, so St. Louis is next week. Oh. Yes, St. Louis is next yes. week. Yes, oh my God, it's here already. This week, Friday. I get to go, I'm you're, so you're coming, excited, so yes. I finally get um, to go. Thank you, Dave, for running the store on Saturday. Uh, this Friday, I'm very excited, uh, David Oscarson, in Chicago, um, he is bringing somewhere between 15 to 20, 25 Oscarson pens. That? I don't know. Oh I have God. no idea. He's actually bringing a few things out that have been long discontinued. Um, believe it or not, ballpoints, um, rollerballs, of course, fountain pens. Um, he will have, um, including, I believe, uh, I have to, I have to follow up with him, but I believe he's bringing a new model that is that is coming out. Yes. So it's going to be fantastic. Um, if you haven't seen an Oscarson in person, you have to see one. They're just... They're amazing. They're, they are... And he is the nicest man on the planet. Yeah. I know I say that about like half a dozen people, but he's he is, just he is. such a yeah. sweetheart. He's yeah. such a good dad. He's such a good friend. Um, we've gotten to be pretty close over yeah. the last couple yeah. years and just... Incredibly talented, but incredibly humble, yep. um, which is really a, a beautiful combination. And who else is going to be there? Um, his new wife. Well, yes, Veronica. <laughs> I was going I'm with not John. Sure. I'm not sure where you were going with that. <laughs> I'm so going with John. I was going the safe route. Uh, yeah, John Lane, Pilot USA, general manager. Uh, he has been here in Appleton a couple of times. Now he's coming to Chicago. Yep. So for those of you who couldn't make the events here in town, um, Definitely come down. We're going to have, I have no idea what he's going to bring. Um, we John guarantee, is dude, it's going to be fantastic. a dear, dear friend. Yep. Um, and when he has come to Appleton in the past, he has brought amazing stuff. In fact, we were talking to my parents last night, and my mom had been here for one of the uh, pilot events, and she even remembered holding the owl yep. and um, some of that. And he brings just gorgeous stuff that we don't normally stock. Um, well, I mean, some of it's, you know, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars you know. 15, yeah, 20, yeah. I, I'll buy it if you want it, but yeah. <laughs> we're not going to stock it in Appleton. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's always fun to see the amazing things that he brings. He's just a font of knowledge and just a lot of fun. He and David are good friends, so I think it's going to be a really good time. Yeah. So, and uh, of course, all this stuff is for sale. Um, but even if it's not in your price range, you got to come down and check come it out. See it. You got to check it out because you, you don't you don't get this chance unless you go. You know, David Oscarson only goes to what DC, uh, LA, and maybe he maybe does Dallas. Baltimore. There's like, only a couple shows. He does a handful. Um, so if you can't get to those shows and see it, you can't see it in person. Right. You, you see it in Penworld because he's always in Penworld. But it's like in person, Fabergé it's, eggs in a pen. Yeah. And, it's so gorgeous. And, and some of these these Namiki emperors, I mean, stuff you just you don't see every day. So uh, come down and check them out. Um, and uh, there there be there be quite a range uh, of of prices on the Namiki, but uh, definitely come and check it out. So. Yep. Uh, that's coming up this week. So this weekend is Pilot and David Oscarson. Yep. Next weekend is St. Louis. And then I don't see you for a while. Uh, yeah, then the next weekend after St. Louis is... Uh, Ken Jones from Yaffa. Ken Jones from Yaffa. So that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's Hugo Boss, Peniter, uh, Monteverdi, Conklin, Stipula. <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> and so maybe 
something new? Yeah, well, a bunch of stuff. Um, and he's coming down, and then the weekend after that is Miami Pen Show. So well, Ken almost always surprises us with like new colors, like at shows, or maybe for the event there may be a new color or something cool. Um, uh, he's gonna bring a lot of stuff. Yeah. So that's that's coming up. Because there are new paniders. Right? There are new paniders okay. that he'll have, um, so we'll be able to see those. Yeah. So anyway, lots of lots of stuff. Check out the chicago.andersonpens.com website. We'll have all the, the events down in Chicago for that. So, um, And I sh oh, do want to mention uh, about David Austin. He is only coming to the store on, on Friday. Friday. Yes. Um, there's a possibility he may be there on Saturday, but we, can't, we can't guarantee it. So if, it. if you're looking to see David Oskerson, Friday, um, and it is noon to 5 yes. on Friday and 10 to 3 uh, for Pilot Namiki on Saturday. So Correct. John will be there both days, uh, David only on Friday. So. Yep. Um, and then what's after Yaffa? Uh, after Yaffa, Miami, yep. And then I think I get a week off. Two weeks. Two I weeks think. off, and then it's DC, and yep. then Platinum is coming. Um, after right that? after right after DC. So. And then a week off, and then San Fran. I don't oh know. my God! Like, I can't well, plan it was that nice far to ahead. see you. Yeah, I can't plan that far in advance. <laughs> so, anyway, anything else you want to chat about this week? No, I think that's it. Okay. We. Um, yeah, just uh, trying to survive while you're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you're only gone 36 hours. It feels like longer. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Maybe in your travels, somebody will tell you a really good joke. I think that's it for this week. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Tune in next week for more Talk About Pens, Ink, and Paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, upcoming events, and all sorts of other fun stuff. And follow us on social media as Anderson Pens. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.